What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Now, collective, before I get off into this reading, I want everybody to state where you live, where you represent, your city or your state, your town. Because Oscar is out there and he needs for you guys to put in the comments where you reside so he can come to your town and scoop up them karmic ass clowns. This is why you don't see him. Right about now, he's roaming around California. Okay? He's in Los Angeles right now. And he's out there scooping up all the karmic ass clowns. So I need for you to put in the comments where you represent, what, what state, what city you represent, city and state that you represent. And you only say, I mean, you can, you can say it, but if you want Oscar to come to your town and sweep up that karmic clown in his paddy wagon, I need for you to put it in the comments. And I also need for you to hit that thumbs up button to help support my channel and to make it grow. Now I'm going to tell you about these cards. Now I also need for you to please keep in mind that this read, it may trigger you, it may or it may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Okay? I want you all to imagine your new beginnings coming to you. Imagine that the power, imagine the power that you have. Imagine the, the skills that you have. Imagine the openness and the clarity and the personal growth that you have. Celebrate your life. Okay? So, this reading is about somebody out there that's feeling guilty. See, this person is feeling guilty because you pulled yourself away from a toxic situation. Peace is a must for you. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're possibly they're angry. They're getting drunk. They have outside influences around them. They have bad habits. They're not creative. This person is is drunk right now and listening to love songs and they're angry. Now, for some of you, this person is feeling guilty because they have friends that's jealous of your relationship some of them have foreign friends and there's cultural differences between your relationship and their relationship it may be things that you know you and your person do that they don't now whoever your person is they're depressed right now because they realize that they made a mistake and they ain't gonna change okay for some of you, this could be a Libra energy. That had bad habits. Outside influences. Some of the outside influences are armed and dangerous. This person can be armed and dangerous. Some of you, this person is um, getting drunk and doing death magic. Family oriented came out in reverse. So this is someone they don't think about family. They don't care about family. They may not have been brought up with the happy family. They may be having um, you know a bunch of circumstances going on with their family. Okay. Or this is someone who's feeling guilty because you wanted to be or family oriented with them. And they didn't want that. They listened to outside influences. 
Okay. So you poured yourself away because you realized that the situation was toxic and this person ain't going to change. And they feel guilty. See, it's out here twice. From the cards I made and from the, the cards I bought. This person is feeling guilty because you pulled yourself away. Tell me more, spirit. And they're angry. We have bugging out here. They're, 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 their outside influences was bugging them. What were, what's the bugging? Clarify bugging. Reconsidering. See, this person is feeling so guilty and they're depressed. Now they're reconsidering. Something could have happened in fall. What are they reconsidering? Well, they know they made a mistake. Okay. And they were irresponsible. Some of their friends could be from the lesbian and gay community. That's jealous of you. This death magic can represent somebody actually trying to kill you in the spiritual realm, or they could be one to, you know, throw some sort of magic to for you to die. Or this could mean that they're doing some sort of spells, magic, death magic, for things to come to an end for you. Okay. So this is where Holy Spirit is saying for you to protect your home, your space, and your energy. Now, if this person is throwing this at you, you may be seeing a little paranormal activity. Things may be falling out the cabinets. Lights may be flickering. You know, you may be seeing shadows or something. This is something that somebody sent to you. Whoever this person is, they live in a fantasy world. They're not family oriented. They're not responsible. And now they're depressed because they won't change and they're feeling guilty. Whoever this energy is, they're, they're, they're somewhere drunk, angry, drunk, listening to love songs. So with the death magic and the drunk right on top of it, this person, they're so angry. When, when you know, when, 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 when you drunk, your true feelings come out. So this person, they're so mad at you. They want things to come to an end for you. And this is why you must protect your space, protect your home, protect your energy, okay? Or this person could be, you know, they could have been drunk and been irresponsible and throwing death magic at you. They feeling guilty because shit, the shit is coming to an end for them. You just imagine yourself being in a, a safe place. You manifest yourself. This person could be dating other people. Or if you're dating other people, they could be throwing death magic for that to come to an end. Like if this is somebody, if this is your person, your ex, they getting drunk, listening to love songs, getting mad and angry because they're thinking about you dating others. But see, they the one, they made a mistake and they, they feeling guilty. This person had a lot of bad habits. Tell me more about this person feeling guilty. The collective pulled themselves away from. Poor boundaries. They didn't they didn't set no boundaries with you or with nobody else. Well with other with their their friends that's jealous of them. They didn't set no boundaries with them. They couldn't focus. They didn't focus on you. They didn't focus on the relationship between you and them. I'm trying to sit closer to this desk because the cards keep falling. Great willpower. Family issues. So for some of you, you could be having some family issues with somebody who's a Libra energy that has bad habits. They could have some outside influences. 
that has bad habits and now they realize that they they made a mistake but see this person like I said they feeling guilty because they won't change they're feeling guilty because they listen to outside influences people that's jealous of you Tell me more about the person feeling guilty. Um, what was the toxic situation? What was the toxicity? What was the toxic situation that the collective pulled themselves away from? What was the toxic situation that the collective pulled themselves away from? What was the toxic, toxic situation that the collective pulled themselves away from? nightmare so this person they could be having nightmares not there for them anymore can't remember see this is someone who who does some bullshit and then when it's time to you know speak about it they can't remember shit some of you this person is armed and dangerous you be careful out there because they could be so mad listening to love songs and getting drunk okay somebody may off they self because they see in spirits tell me more holy spirit They feel the tension. Yeah. They're feeling guilty. They know they were being irresponsible. They made a mistake. They're depressed. They have family issues. They have poor boundaries. They, they possibly have poor boundaries dating others. They can't focus. They're not focused. They live in a fantasy world. Why are they feeling guilty? Why are they feeling guilty, Holy Spirit? I'm going to go to Hearts Hidden Secrets. <clears throat> Why is this person feeling guilty? Why is this person feeling guilty? Because they didn't commit to you. With infidelity here, they were cheating. They weren't committed. They feel guilty. Why are they feeling guilty? Why are they feeling guilty? Why are they feeling guilty? Because they were dishonest, deceptive. They pulled a lot of tricks. They told the web of lies. So you pulled yourself away from them. It's like whoever this person is, um, they could have been, you know, making you think they was gonna be in a commitment with you, but they wasn't. They were dishonest, or they wasn't treating the relationship like it's a like it's a marriage. I mean, like it's a relationship.
Yeah, they realized they made a mistake by being dishonest. See, so you put you put distance between you and them. They don't like this distance. They feeling guilty. You separated yourself from them. They could have been, you know, saying they need space, so you gave them the space. You exited. So this person they're 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 getting drunk and um doing death magic, wishing and hoping things come to an end for you. And it, and they're mad too because you're not there for them anymore. And now with you not being there for them, this is making them infatuated with you because you're not around them. See, they was getting a kick out of, of being, you know, deceptive with you, fooling you, making you believe that they want to marry you and shit, but they really didn't with the promises, you know, that they was going to be with you and you only. They thought it was funny, okay? But now you done, you done exited stage left, stage left. Influences again. This person had someone out there, people that's possibly of the lesbian and gay community influencing them. Broken heart. They're broken hearted because you separated yourself from them. They're also broken hearted because they listen to other influences. And them other influences is um, infatuated you, with you too. This person may be may be broken hearted because they could have found out the same people who was who was keeping them from committing to you is addicted to you, infatuated by you, adores you, and this could could have broke their heart, and they feeling guilty. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I'm going to go look in another deck. This one ain't talking no more. I know you're stress free though. You ain't stressing no more. Why didn't this person commit to the collective? Why were they dishonest? Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on. This person that's feeling guilty concerning the collective. Divine Feminine. I call Juliet Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine has separated herself from this person. Because they were dishonest. This this um, divine feminine also separated herself. The alcohol again. And drunk out here. You separated yourself because this person they, they was they, they're probably an old drunk. Okay. They did a lot of things when they were drunk. Clarify the drunk. What was this person doing while they drinking? Clarify the drinking and the liquor. Romeo. This is Divine Masculine. This Divine Masculine is feeling guilty because he lied to you. He let other people, you know, influence him, you know, to do you dirty. These people is probably not even of the same culture as your Divine Masculine. They're of a different race. They don't, they don't believe in the same things and how he's the by masculine's family well he's not family oriented that's why he let these other people influence him to do things which is against his 
original family heritage. This is a um, the Prince of Prince Escalus. Protection, kindness, undertake. See, he's feeling guilty because this should have been the energy that he was in. But this masculine, he he sits with his legs open. This is somebody who's, you know, uh, they lives in a fantasy world. Something about when it comes to his sex. Well, hold on, I'm gonna go make me a cup of coffee. Right back. Okay, y'all. So yeah, so um. <clears throat> This person, they could have been um, protective of you, kind, and they had their friends that um, influenced them to be deceptive when it came to you. See, this person, whoever they are, now their heart is broken. They're shattered, destroyed, because you separated yourself from them. They may, like I said, they may have told you that they want space. They needed space and now they're feeling guilty. So take it where it resonates. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but it's going to resonate with somebody. You see, with the fatherly love, controlling, Dogmatism, I don't know what that means, what dogmatism means. But this person, these it looks like these are the energies that they, they should have possessed when they was with you. Okay? Protection, kindness, idolistic lover, passion, quickly changing moves. This is divine masculine, Romeo. Okay, Prince Prince Escalas. These could this can also mean this masculine, his influences are, are his two, these could be two of his friends, okay? That's influencing him to be deceptive when it comes to his Juliet, Divine Feminine. They, it's like Divine Feminine, and if you set some boundaries with this masculine, he has his friends around him. These friends are the outside influences. These are the outside influences, these two. These two fellas right here. This is Divine Masculine. And this is Divine Feminine, Romeo and Juliet, okay? But the outside influences. These outside influences could be influencing this masculine to get drunk, to play around, um, and these, whoever these outside influences, they, they, these two friends, they're obsessed with you, Divine Feminine. They're infatuated with you. And see, this masculine, he gets drunk and he don't, he don't remember the things that he's doing. He's having nightmares. Mm-hmm. Seeing paranormal activity. being deceptive so you had to put an end to it he 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 it's like he told you he needed some space and you gave him the space and now he's broken hearted getting drunk poison see whoever his friends were these outside influences now, some of you, this could mean somebody could actually be trying to poison your masculine or poison you. Or this is this is the energy where they could be poisoning his mind. Saying harmful things, destructive things to break up your relationship. And and if he said some things, this is why he possibly can't be he can't remember because those weren't his words that he said. It was some and somebody influenced him to say this shit while he was drunk. Yep. Now he's feeling guilty.
tell me more about this masculine feeling guilty. Why is this masculine feeling guilty? He's broken hearted because he let his friends poison his mind with their their influences. Now he's depressed. They had this masculine belief that he lives in a fantasy world. Everything that he wants, you know, they, they had him dating other people, listening to other people. He wasn't focused on you, Divine Feminine. But you, 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 you said enough is enough. You told this masculine peace, okay? Now he's feeling guilty. Okay, I guess that's it. I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> And don't forget to smash that notification bell, okay? And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Peace out, y'all.